Here we have a hand boiler, and it's a fun little experiment, and we're going to do exactly what it names suggests. We're going to boil this with our hand. Now, that's got to be pretty hot to boil it. It's not exactly going to boil it in the sense that we're going to turn this liquid into a vapor, but it's going to look very similar. Let's try it out and see what's going on. All you need to do is grip the bottom bulb with your hand. Now, you don't have to squeeze it very hard, you don't have to do anything, you just have to hold it in your hand. Now, as you can see, that liquid inside is mysteriously rising. So what, what's going on here? And it's filling up the top, it's defying gravity. Look at it push, and look, it appears to be boiling. It is my hand so hot that this has reached above 100 degrees Celsius and is turning this liquid into a gas? Uh, no, that's not what, that is not what is happening here. Although it really appears as though it is. Let me take my hand away here. So, as I gripped it, the heat from my hand was conducting through this very thin glass and affecting the gas on the inside. That gas, the particles of the gas were getting faster, hitting each other harder and spreading far apart, and as we've seen before, the volume was increasing. As the volume of air increased down here, it pushed that liquid up. Now watch, if I hold it up here, It'll expand the gas at the top end, push it down, and look, it appears as though it's boiling a little bit there. Let's see that again. So it's completely cleared out there. Uh, I, I warmed up the particles up here. That increased the um, uh, volume of air, and it expanded. Let's increase the volume of air at the bottom here. It's very interesting, too, because this isn't always effective for all people. Some people try it and get a very you know, uh, uh, less than ideal results simply because their hands aren't very warm. You know those people who just have naturally cool hands due to, uh, you know, weaker uh, uh, circulation or whatever it may be. If you have the kind of naturally cold hands, then this may not work as well for you. Now, as you can see, uh, this isn't quite boiling up as much as it was. It's because I had heated the top of this bulb as well, so that it's kind of squashed in the middle. Until that gas at the top cools down a little bit, it's not going to quote-unquote boil up at the top. So, this is a hand boiler. Neat little uh, science experiment to demonstrate how heat can affect volume.